When you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, you can feel it in your guts, and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential, you've gotten comfortable, you stop expanding, you stop stretching, you stop challenging yourself. Let me share something else with you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. There's nothing on earth as powerful as the human will. The will controls the destiny of man. Your will is the agency of God's kingdom administration. Think of some major goal you want, or maybe it's one you're already working on, and you have experienced a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. You've experienced a lot of disappointment. Maybe you've already given up. And maybe you just need a little fire, a little encouragement to get back in the game again. Here's what I want you to look at. There are winners, and there are losers, and there are people who have not discovered how to win. And all they need is some coaching. All they need is some help and assistance, just a little support. All they need is some insight or a different strategy or plan of action to make some adjustments that will open up the key to a whole new future for them, that will give them access to the unlimited power that they have within themselves. That's all that they need. So what I want you to do is, is think about something you want for you, that's real for you, that's important for you, that will give your life some special meaning and power. And I don't even want you to say, I can do that. I don't want you to assume that. See, five years ago, when I started out in this area, I would not have been able to make the mental leap that I would be up to where I am right now. I don't want you to begin to just psych yourself out. No, no. I want you to be able to say something to yourself that will enable you to maintain a level of integrity with yourself. That when you say this, even when you face tremendous setbacks, it, it will be a benchmark to keep you in the game, to keep you moving forward and experimenting and readjusting your strategy and your plan of action, continuously looking for ways to win. Until you follow through, until something is done, come hell or high water, tears and struggles and pain and you go through it anyway and you show up and you continue to fight on no matter the circumstances after a while something begins to wither inside of you love beareth refusing to accept things the way that they are is the mother of invention we only have enough energy to take us to a certain level but it's necessary that we assemble ourselves with other people who share our vision, other people that can see it for us, to give ourselves a home court advantage. You are the vessel, you are the outlet for the universe. That you've been selected, there's something for you to do. I believe all of us have some purpose for being here. You see, people who can't see it for themselves can't see it for you. I fought a good fight. I mean, I fought such a good fight that when I look at what other people call a fight, what they call a fight is what I call normal. My whole perception of what a fight is has been revolutionized. That's not a fight. 
I fought my way up. I fought to get to work. I fought to get up on my feet. I fought to stand. I fought to carry on. I fought to love. I fought to live. I fought to get out of the bed. I fought with my fears, my doubts, my anxieties, my insecurities. I fought with haters, liars, backbiters, and betrayers. I even had to fight with family. And many times I laid in the bed. I couldn't go to sleep because I was fighting with myself. I fought. Just, just keep moving. Don't start feeling sorry for yourself. Don't spend time blaming and talking about what happened to you. See, whatever you talk about, that's what you multiply and expand in your life experience. So don't talk about stuff unless you want it to keep on happening to you, all right? It's not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today, look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. Things happen to you in life that you can never, ever anticipate. And many times when those things happen, you want to give up. You look at your life, you look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you evading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Fall forward. This is what I mean. Reggie Jackson struck out 2,600 times in his career, the most in the history of baseball. But you don't hear about the strikeouts. People remember the home runs. Fall forward. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. Was the 1,001st was the light bulb. Fall forward. I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of courage. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money, but I kept down on my knees. I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. If you lose a job, keep the faith. If you lose a spouse, keep the faith. If you bury your child, keep the faith. If you have to downsize, keep the faith. If you have to move in with your mama, keep the faith. If you're at your wit's end, keep the faith. If you have to catch the bus, keep the faith. If you have to thumb, keep the faith. If you get sick, keep the faith. If you lose your kidneys, keep the faith. If you got heart trouble, keep the faith. You might not get a new heart, but you gotta keep your faith. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. Start talking to people and seeking and asking for what I wanted and leveraging relationships and trying to find out how do the people do it that went ahead of me? How do they do it? And then what is it I need to do? How is it I need to train myself to develop myself? What's the resources that will be required in order to make it happen? And as I start seeking out and asking questions, I started running into people said, I know someone who can help you do that. And they helped me get connected with those people. Remember, we have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. I hooked up with them, they said, let's, let's go. I said, away we go. You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. Some people quit because things are out of control. Nobody quits what you can control. But the moment you get in something where you don't get your way, or you get reprimanded, or you get corrected, or you go through this, or you go through that, or you go through the other, or, or it's bad conditions or bad circumstances, the, the first thing the immature mind says is, this is ridiculous, I quit. I didn't quit. I didn't fall back. I walked out of there to prepare for the next audition, and the next audition, and the next audition. I prayed. I prayed. And I prayed. But I continued to fail, and fail, and fail. But it didn't matter, because you know what? There's an old saying, you hang around the barbershop long enough, sooner or later you're gonna get a haircut. So you will catch a break, and I did catch a break. It was at the court theater. It was at the same theater that I failed that first audition 30 years prior. 
What people think about you and the possibilities for your dream is none of your business. They're living out of the past, out of their memory. Their attitude is it can't be done because they haven't seen it. They're judging according to appearances. The people that are going to make it in the future, the people that are making it today, let me share something with you. History is being read, but it's also being written by people with imagination. But do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. We fail a lot of times, well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want, and we know that we want to get it, it's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do, it's necessary. We get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives, it's necessary. We never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves, it's necessary that we never give up. We know that it's you, it's me, it's being responsible for our stuff and deciding that we're going to keep on keeping on, that we're going to find a way to win or find a way to make it happen. And we know it's hard, it's not going to be a picnic. Yes, it's hard, it's hard, and we will do it hard. And once it's, we do it hard and we go through it, we realize it was worth it. And once you discover it was worth it, it is done. And it's hard to be, but you cannot see. Eyesight and mind sight. Eyesight is judging on what you see. Judging according to appearances. But mind sight, is how you interpret what you see. What are the uses for your life right now that you haven't even reached for yet? See, I believe that when you don't have enough encouragement to act on your dreams or ideas or you're not enlightened enough, that life will act on you. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. And I'm saying that if you know anybody that had some goal, some dream, something they wanted to do, and they did it, then I'm saying that you know in your heart that if someone has done it, then you can do it. It's possible. And that if someone can make their dream become a reality, that it's, it's possible that you can make your dream become a reality. And so as you begin to look at where you want to go, beginning to embrace that, it's possible. I'm blessed and highly favored. I've got a lot going for me. I've got some good stuff in me. And it's possible that I can bring my greatness out here in the universe. That I can do what I want to do. It's possible I can write my own book. I can have my own business. I, I can take the trip and travel around the world. It's possible I can bounce back from adversity and reinvent my life. It's possible, regardless of where I am, that things can get better for me. It's possible. It's possible you've got some talents some ideas in you, your ability to do some stuff that you haven't even discovered yet. Now I'm suggesting that it's necessary that you get outside of your comfort zone. It's necessary that you develop some new relationships where you can learn from people. It's necessary that you do reading, that you do research. It's necessary if you're already involved in some business that you don't be satisfied with where you are. If you want to make it today, it's necessary for you to constantly look at ways of getting better. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution, is you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, and it's necessary for you to challenge yourself to go after and get better, and leverage relationships that can help you get to where you want to go, but it's you. So what is that something? When you got an idea you want to move on, you might not have the money, you might not have the education, you might not have the support or the resources you need. What is that something that can keep us going, that will enable us to act on our dream? What's one of those keys that will begin to help us to discover the secrets to our dream? It's all I want you to do when you look at your dream. You say to yourself every day, it's possible. You say that every day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? It begins to change your belief system. See, the way in which we operate is a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. It is not about them, it's about me. Define the urge to quit. Quit school.
Dentistry, medicine, nursing, oh, what an urge it is to quit. It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. See, as long as you're breathing, you got to shout at your dream. That's the way I resolve. What is it that we want to produce? What is it that we want to create for our young people? And as we think about that, start experimenting with different methods and techniques to create and to produce that. And begin to believe that it's possible through our commitment, through our vision, through our determination, our relentlessness. Because of our belief, it's possible that we can reduce the teenage homicide rate, the teenage pregnancy rate, the dropout rate, that it's possible looking at what kind of world are they going to be in. As we look at the global economy, that as we begin to use our collective will and genius and resources, it's possible that we can create an educational system that not only will test their minds with, with information and facts and figures, but will teach them how to think and be creative. And what does it mean to be a human being and to value human life? And how do you make relationships work? How do you bounce back from adversity? It's possible that we can give them a curriculum that will give their lives a sense of purpose and direction and meaning and teach them how to begin to know and operate on a higher level of being where they become assets to our society rather than liabilities. Whatever we have to do to save our children, it's worth it. Imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? And let me tell you, the world needs your talent. The Middle East needs your help. Japan needs your help. Alabama needs your help. Tennessee needs your help. Louisiana needs your help. Philadelphia needs your help. So you got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. Because remember this, you will never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. You see, you, you can go through stuff and never know what's going to happen down the road or who you're going to need. My mother used to say, you never know who's going to have to pass you your last glass of water. So the question is, what are you going to do with what you have? I'm not talking about how much you have. Some of you are business majors, some of you are theologians, nurses, sociologists. Some of you have money, some of you have patience, some of you have kindness, some of you have love. Some of you have the gift of long suffering, whatever it is, whatever your gift is. What are you going to do with what you have? The danger of living a life of incompletes. Nobody can count on you to stay, to stick it out, to endure. Nobody can count on you. Past happy. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. That you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. That you have got to, to own what it is that you want to do. If it's taking care of your well-being, if it's making a difference in our school system, if it's working with senior citizens, if it's to protect our ecology, if it's to create an economic renaissance, 
If it's just to take yourself to another level, it's you. You got to make that happen. The person who keeps quitting, you have to live with that infection that you carry, that propensity to never finish. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it, step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy what? Easy go. See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it, because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender. The very nature of will implies self-control. God gave you the power of will. Not only is it possible and necessary, and it's you to live your dream, to make this, this greatness that you have within you become a reality, but what I've come to appreciate when you're working on changing your life, changing some bad habit, getting out of addictive situations or relationships, or working to build a dream or making a difference in our society, or learning something that's very challenging. You will go through things and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. But after you go through it, you get back and you look at it and you say, oh, now I understand why I needed that lesson. So you've got to be willing to stay focused, to be creative, to be relentless, because things are gonna to happen to you when you're working on your dream. Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. See, it's hard when, when you are 49 years old, been working on a job for 17 years, and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay. And you got to start all over again. It's hard when you're married and raising children, and your children are crawling, and your husband dies unexpectedly. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard when you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work out. You lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience it, having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. Operate out of your imagination, not your memory. Because whenever you look at where you want to go, I'm wanting to warn you, you will have some conversation back here after you go through the data that you've experienced in life saying you can't do it. And so what you want to begin to do is ignore that inner conversation. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company your ideas unquestionably you got to have faith and that faith gives you patience that is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen a lot of things are going to happen that will catch you off guard and so therefore you've got to deal with and handle it as it comes and not only that but that faith and patience drives you into action you got to keep moving and keep plugging away Taking risk is not just about going for a job. It's also about knowing what you know and what you don't know. It's about being open to people and to ideas. Sometimes it's the best way to figure out where you're going. Your life will never be a straight path. And I'm encouraged by what I see. And I'm strengthened by what I see. And I love what I see.
You know why people do what they do? The people who go after their stuff, what makes it worth it? It's got to be your passion. You got to love it, ladies and gentlemen. You got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, and even though they want to invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listens to you, including singing to yourself. You got to write, even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you want. It's necessary if you want it, you got to go into action. You got to be willing to experiment. You got to be willing to fail and to succeed. You got to be willing to form and to develop new relationships. It's you, it's on you. You got to make that happen. Nobody's going to bring it to you on a silver platter and say, here's your dream manifested. No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it. You know that's how people are going to do you? So how long have you been working on this? How long have you been working on your dream? It's good. And you have nothing to show. This is all you got to show. People are going to do that to you. And some people, ladies and gentlemen, they stop. Because they don't see instant results. It doesn't happen quickly. They stop. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to keep on watering your dream. And when it began to happen, they stop laughing. During those hard times, we didn't know how you're going to make payroll during those times when you fail and, and, and things didn't work out. They were, they were nowhere to be found. But you know what I discovered? When you're working at your dream, somebody said, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Oh, it's sweet to you. It's good to you. Why? See, when, you, when it's hard and there's a struggle, see, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. Never be discouraged. Never hold back. Give everything you got. And when you fall throughout life, remember this. Fall forward. As you look into the future, while other people are giving up, feeling like victims, feeling powerless, becoming negative, turning on each other rather than to each other, feeling that they can't make it, be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind with the mindset of that it's possible that we can save this generation. It's possible that we can create new industries, a new economy. It's possible that I can find a new profession, a new job. It's possible I can create a new life. And it's necessary that I become actively involved in becoming a positive force in my life and on the planet. And it's me, yes, it's you, it's all of us, pulling together, working together to create this brand new future. And it's going to be hard. Easy is not an option. But if it's hard, we will do it hard. Whatever is required to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And it's worth it, yes. It's worth whatever we have to do. And once we know that, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done.